Hey, thanks for tuning in. First thing I want to say is thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm very grateful, and all my old ones too. Hope you enjoy what's coming up. Aiming to have episode 2 of the Spitfire build drop this weekend. This video is about where I am with the two group builds. The Heavy Armor, Heavy Guns group build. Hosted by Akam at Model Bao Yorama and Marcus at Scale Bench. Links in the description to their channels, some great videos there. I selected the E100, which really wasn't all that inventive. However, it's my first prototype or paper tank, and at 100 plus tons and 150 millimeter gun, very heavy. This amusing hobby kit went together really well. I've been filming both of these builds in detail. It looks complicated, but it's not in a dragon kit kind of way. Everything is primed in multiple coats of Vallejo Red Brown. I shadowed with NATO Black and highlighted with Sky Gray from Tamiya. I didn't want to put Mr. Color Thin Paints on the Vallejo. I will then recoat with Vallejo Red Brown for the final modulation effect. The barrel is left in black. These are the side skirts. I'll leave some off randomly to let you look into the running gear. There's the drive sprocket, the spinner, and two types of wheels. I'll be painting the edges in steel. I've mixed up the layering, and they'll next get steel worn where the wheels are. Leaving the final color scheme a mystery, I'll do that and weather it a bit. The Fat Fenders, Fins, and Chrome group build, hosted by Rob at Time Machine Scale Models. I'm doing the Ravel 56 Del Rey. Rob is a great guy. Please go check his channel out. This group build ends in three weeks. Here's the cabin. Got the firewall stuff and battery done. Cabin interior is done. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, full build video coming for this. Here's the engine, chassis, and exhausts. This is a highly rated kit, and it is a pleasure to put together. Engine's all done. Axles and brakes done. Underneath and exhausts are done. Six coats each of Mr. Color Metallic Red and Mr. Color Gloss Black. That took about a week and a half. It hasn't been wet sanded or gloss coated yet. That's the next major step. I need to put on the chrome and rubber seal paint. The chrome is what I'm leaning on for this group build. No fat fenders. A bit of fin, but lots of chrome. The tires are flawless, and the wheels come off the tree looking pristine. Need to finish the body, add the chrome, decals, and glass. That's it for this one. I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching, and happy modeling.